Emily and welcome to Kitchenasium. For the month of October, I'm going to be doing a recipe and a review where I'm going to be making a spooky, spectacular treat and I'll be reviewing a Monster High doll. So subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any spectacular treats and reviews. Hi, I'm Emily and welcome to Kitchenasium. Today we are going to be making um, Oreo ice cream truffles in a little ice cream cone. Halloween colors because I'll be use I'll be putting orange on top kind of like the chocolate syrup of the ice cream So let's get started. So first you want to like ground up your Oreos I'm just using a small amount because you don't need too much for the little ice cream cones And then you're going to use cream cheese and there isn't really like a specific amount You really need of the cream cheese and frosting for like when you're making cake pops and stuff like this just until it's like moist and controllable. I'm not sure specifically what that is called. <laughs> now that the Oreo truffle mix is nice and smooth and rollable into little balls, I am going to now make small balls to fit in here. Put the cone into the white chocolate so it'll stick to the Oreo truffle. So I have just taken these out of the freezer. I decided to freeze them so they would not fall out when I dip them into, and we're going to cover them in white chocolate. So. It's now covered in the white chocolate and then we are going to cover it in some orange. These look so cute. I love the mini ice cream cones. So much fun for these kind of like ideas of, you know, truffles in it. And what's nice about these is because they're already so cold, they freeze pretty quickly. So now it's time to put the orange on. So this is just some orange white chocolate. So what I'm doing is I'm just using like a teaspoon to just drop it in the center and then pull it. But these are so little that a teaspoon's probably too much, so I'll probably do like half of it. These are turning out so cute. These, they look like little ice creams. Ta-da! Look how cool these look. It is. It looks just like real ice cream cones. It is so cute. I love it. And it's just white chocolate and so easy to make. And I love these mini ice cream cones. So I thought any ice cream sundae wasn't complete without the cherry on top. So I am using some sparkle gel just to make the cherry on top. Ta-da! Look how cute these look. I am so excited and these look so cute and I love it. <laughs> These were so easy. Believe me, just mixing Oreos and melted chocolate. What could be easier? And I love these ice cream cones. I didn't even know these existed until I was making this recipe. So, super cool. Well, thanks for watching this episode of Kitchenasium. Don't forget to watch more episodes of Kitchenasium and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And subscribe, like, and comment down below. See you next time on Kitchenasium. Bye! Because you never can find a gill anywhere. Huh? You might may as well crush you. So Rochelle has this rockin' bun. Sort of like Pedro. And Gil, like always, he always has that weird thing with water in it. I don't really understand it that much. But then we have Laguna. With some blue stripes in her hair. And then this beautiful tutu because she's taking ballet. And then we have Rebecca who's doing tap. She looks so fabulous and then 
operatic was doing swing dancing, which honestly, I really don't know what swing dancing means, but I'd love to find out. They all look so fabulous, and this five pack is so much fun, because like, you get five dolls, instead of having all these separate dolls, you can get them all, these three separately, but these two only come in a big five pack, so it's sort of worth it if you're a big collector like I am. See you next time.